Peace World, Eddie Gerard here. Just chilling. It's Sunday, snowing here in Michigan. Um, I just wanted to tap in and uh, just kind of share some thoughts and things like that. Um, so for me, Sunday is just like a day of rest and study. I spend a lot of time uh, going over new material and uh, you know doing whatever, doing whatever it is that I do. Um, and my my goal is to always be focused on bringing people to the joys of uh, entrepreneurship, business owning, um, at least uh, creating another stream of income. Because we all have that ability to tap into some parts of us and turn it into some income for ourselves, for our wives, and for our children. Um, and so I just wanted to go over a few reasons like why you would start a business and um, address some of the apprehensions to starting a business. Um, so for one, starting a business, um, it gives you a sense of pride, you know, and not in a, in a, a way that, uh, well, it shouldn't be in a way that makes you think that you're, you know, better than those around you, but pride in the way that you wake up and you go about um, earning your money. Sometimes when we have a job, it becomes autopilot and we just waking up, going to punch a clock and waiting for that check. And we get no joy out of the job and we don't see our contribution to our community or our country. And so um, the, the work that we're putting in is uh, not appreciated internally. And then we begin to think that it's not appreciated externally. And so, um, so starting your own business is like one of those things where you have to be hands on and you have to cultivate and create um, this uh, solution to some problem that you identify, whether that's internal or external. Um, secondly, there's freedom in starting your own business, right? Like, um, but this is a double edged sword. I always tell people like, sure, if you start your own business and it becomes somewhat successful, uh, you could fire your boss and work for yourself and then determine your hours and your flexibility and things like that. But also, that means that some weeks you may have to put in like more hours than you ever have had to put in at a job. It is infinitely more harder. Not infinitely. I throw that around casually. It is more harder to be a business owner than it is to be an employee. That's a fact. And I think uh, 2020... Uh, with the pandemic and everything uh, caused a lot of people to go inside and then this movement of positivity came from YouTube and everyone was telling you go get it and you can get it and um, you know uh, believe in yourself and all this stuff and I think it really put people in a mind state where they weren't calculated all the pros and cons it is difficult to be a business owner that's where the pride comes from if you're successful or semi-successful the pride should even really come in if you're a complete failure because you you attempted something and you learn from those missteps. Um, and then, yes, freedom is a thing, but that also is the freedom to work very, very hard at something. Um, and then I think uh, the third thing I want to touch on before I get out of here is just um, a sense of um, security for your family. Um earning money on the side, whether it's a side hustle or a job or a partnership or an investment only adds another log to the fire. And that fire being uh, financial security for your family. If you have a wife, you have to be thinking about her security. If you have uh, children, you have to be thinking about their security. If you have anyone in your household um, or anyone you care about or a community that you're a part of, you have to be uh, thinking about the security, the longevity, and um, the future of that uh, thing that you're caring about. And the lifeblood of all of that is currency. Sometimes currency is money. Sometimes currency is a skill set. Um, sometimes currency is you. So um, business is... Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you more prideful. You're going to walk differently. You're going to talk differently. You're going to think differently. Um, uh, business is going to give you a sense of freedom. 
um, to, to, to succeed or fail. <laughs> Believe that. Um, and then um, third is going to uh, add another log to that, uh, that uh, fire of security. All right. So these are just my Sunday thoughts. I didn't really plan anything. I just wanted to tap in with you guys and say, chase your dreams. Believe in yourself. Peace.